number 16 of Average Beer Dude TV. I am Chris, I am Average Beer Dude. Thanks for joining me, thanks for tuning in. Super excited to do a longer video review finally. It's been a good three or four weeks since I've done one of these, so we'll see how rusty I am. Today we have a uh, real special one, one I'm really looking forward to trying. This one is Walter, a hazy IPA with white tea by Green Cheek Beer Company out of Orange, California. Um, this one was given to me by a good friend of mine, at uh, 23brews on Instagram. Brian uh, has become one of my good friends and I'm really looking forward to uh, diving into this one. I really appreciate it, man. Um, multiple reasons for wanting to try this beer. Number one, Green Cheek. I'm loving their beers so far, what I've tried. Number two, I am a massive Breaking Bad fan, uh, big Heisenberg fan, big Pinkman fan. Love it all. It's been a while since I've watched it. I've attempted to rewatch it. I know I can't be alone in that. So anyway, let's talk a little bit about this beer. Looks like it's a 7.0% IPA. Um, it's a hazy IPA uh, with white tea, which is kind of funky. I've heard some interesting things about this beer, um, but yeah, we'll see how it is. Cheeky's very distant cousin, Walter, rented an RV, drove to the desert, and cooked up something real good. Sounds familiar uh, to those Breaking Bad folks. So anyway, let's look at this can art one more time. You can kind of see uh, the cheeky parrot there with the Breaking Bad outfit on. I've uh, got some Heisenberg action going on. So let's crack this thing. Um, what I'm gonna do is I will go ahead and crack it here. Uh, I'll pour it, probably a good half pour, get the schnoz in there, see what kind of notes we're picking up on the aroma. Describe the mouthfeel, describe the body, describe how it tastes, and we'll try to give it a rating here at the end. So without further ado, let's jam this thing. So right off the bat, you can see, I'm gonna show you here in a second, this thing is uh, still very, very hazy. I think this, um, this batch is probably three weeks old at this point. Um, there you can see it. This thing looks like straight pineapple juice, in my opinion. Um, got a nice golden, orangish, yellow color. Very, very hazy. Um, I wouldn't say it's like turbid looking or thick, but it's got a nice little head of foam there too. Um, yeah, I can already smell the aromas kind of pounded my nostrils here um, in the form of kind of that, uh, that pineapple-y tropical smell. And that white tea is what I'm really curious about. I feel like I picked up a little faint bit of white tea there, but let's see what we're really smelling. So, okay. Um, this smells really good, actually, uh, especially for just a single IPA. Tropical, that's what I'm getting on this thing. Um, not getting a lot of hops off the chute here, but let's uh, try to dig a little bit. Yeah, this thing smells smells good. Get some orange, orange juicy smell. Um, not necessarily like orange rind or anything like that, but real orange juice, um, pineapple. Yeah, this is just a tropical explosion. This is really good. Um, personally, I'm not picking up any of that like herbally white tea on the nose, but uh, let's see how this thing tastes. Let's see uh, what the body's like. Interesting. So uh, body, thinner medium, kind of like any other hazy single IPA would be. Um, it's not overly soft or anything like that. It's pretty dry. I'm guessing that's from the tea. Um, Carbonation is still soft, subtle, sits in the mouth really easy. This one, I could, I'm gonna crush this can really, really quick. I can promise you that. Um, let's take a sip and try to get some kind of some description as far as what this thing tastes like. I like this beer actually quite a lot. Um, not overly heavy, so. I'm getting some of that same tropical notes um, that I was getting on the nose, kind of pineapple-y, orangey, you know, mango, whatever other kind of fruits you want to throw in there that has anything to do with tropical stuff in this beer for sure. Um, there is a little bit more of that hoppy bite in there. Um, when I say bite, I'm not saying that this thing's clawing your throat or anything like that. I'm just saying that it is there, it sits on the tongue a little bit. Um, the white tea, this is super subtle, but I like this. So if you've ever drank like a uh, I'm trying to think what the best example is. Like one of those like Lipton white tea in like the 20 ounce bottles you can pick up like a gas station. I pick up like an ever so slight sweetness that I would get in something like that. I don't know if that makes any sense, but that's what I'm getting in this one. It matches up with kind of what this IPA is doing really, really well in my opinion. Um, let's take another sip just to make sure I'm accurate. Yeah, it's definitely just got that white tea somewhere on the back end there, and I really, really like that. Um, other than that, you know, like I said, tropical, a uh, little bit of hops, 
some white tea. This is just a really good balanced beer. I, I really wouldn't have mind a four pack of this, but uh, I know this one's long gone. Uh, I'll probably keep the can and just relive the memories of uh, the old Heisenberg beer. So if I have to give this thing a rating, um, you know, this, I've had a couple other green cheek beers and um, this one is better for me than Call It Magic, which I think is somewhere back here if you can see the cans. I also had, I'm trying to remember what the, uh, more spacier in a Crowler, which I think is back here too. More spacier was a, I feel it's like a single IPA, but it had a whole bunch of fruit in it. That one was fantastic. I really like that one quite a lot. This one sits in between um, Call It Magic and then more spacier for me. So, you know, on my rating scale, you can give it like a four out of five. Um, if I really had to get it like jammed out, I'd probably say a 4.25 out of five, but let's not get complicated here. This one's a good beer. Again, this is Green Cheek Brewing Company uh, out of Orange, California. This one's called Walter Hazy IPA with white tea. Super good. Thank you so much. Cheers. Hey, it's me again. I totally forgot to mention. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It should pop up down here. I'd really, really appreciate it. We're trying to add as many videos as we can. Hope you enjoyed this video review. Please give some feedback in the comments. I would love to hear from you. Cheers, everybody. Have a good one. Thank you.